Hello. Hello, everyone. It's me, Music by Nikki. And uh, I'm the Nikki, Music by Nikki. And I'm playing a Um, I'm going to teach you how to put tapes on a violin if you're a beginner violinist, and I'm going to do it right now, and it's not going to take a lot of time at all. So, today's video is short, it's at night, but it's going to be very helpful if you rewatch it, and if you need to learn it or send it to somebody who you need to know. So, I'm going to put on tapes on a violin, right? So, what does that mean? So, when you start the violin, uh, <laughs> you don't have any tapes, it looks like this, right? Well, we we get to that point, okay? We gotta start from somewhere. So this video is made for beginner violinists, okay? Who need some tapes on there. And it's also for parents who need to put tapes on their child's violin um, and don't know where to start. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. What you're gonna need is a tuned violin. If you don't know how to tune the violin, um, I am gonna make another video of it if I haven't already. Uh, and I can help you how to tune. Just send me a message and I can teach you how to tune your violin, okay? It takes a little bit of getting used to because it's different than tuning a guitar. But it's not completely crazy. So I can teach you how to do that. And you're also going to need a chromatic tuner, okay? And the one I use is called Sound Corset, okay? It's a free app. Um, I use it every day. And I love it because it's a chromatic tuner and it's a metronome and it's a tuning fork. We're going to use this to tune the tapes today, okay? So w how we use tapes, I have electrical tape right here, okay? Uh, different teachers use different kind of tapes, okay? I like the electrical tape because I can cut it fast. I can put it on violins fast, okay? Because what happens is the tapes do wear off. I do have students who mention it and complain, oh, Miss Nikki, my, my tapes are coming off and I can't do anything about it. It's like, well, give me that violin, right? And uh, I take the tapes off and put fresh ones on, right? Um, and you want to clean off any residue from old tapes. Take all your old tapes off. There is also a big sticker that comes with some violins that have, like, lots of notes on it, okay? Um, that's up to you if you want to use that. I do have a lot of students that have that sticker on it. Um, that's fine. I think it's kind of a little confusing for beginner violinists, but that's up to you. I'm going to go the traditional method with tapes and only go with four. So we're going to go with four tapes, and it's for the left hand. So for the left hand, this is your first finger. So this is one, two, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. So this is going to be your first finger tape, your second finger tape, third finger tape, fourth finger tape. Now there are tons of notes on the violins, but we're going to start with four tapes. That's not four notes. It's just four different notes on four different strings. Um, so we're going to put them on right now. So you're going to need some electrical tape. I have orange, red, blue, and green. And then you need some scissors. I already cut mine so you didn't have to watch me try. So the tape starts off like this, right? You cut like, you know, a few inches of tape. Okay. This is way too thick. Okay. Not going to work. Okay. So we have to cut it. Um, there are some pre-cut violin tapes that you can buy on Amazon, but I just find that this is the easiest because you're going to have to replace them because fingers get sweaty, kids' fingers get sweaty, and they push the tapes around, um, so we kind of have to adjust them, but not too often, okay? If you're not gripping too hard on the violin, you shouldn't be sweating on it that bad, um, so it should be okay, but it kind of just depends, and life happens and stuff like that. So... Four different colored tapes I think are helpful. You can use just one color, you know, solidly. You can do just like all red. So when a student comes in, I'll be like, what's your favorite color? Which color do you want? And they'll be like, I like red. Um, I do think it's helpful to make different colored tapes because then I can quickly say, um, okay, go to the red tape. Go to the blue tape. Second finger on the red. Make sure it's on the red, you know. So um, the tapes are very important. Okay. Another thing about the tapes is that sometimes our fingers may be at the end of a tape or a beginning of the tape or in the middle of a tape. This is where our ear comes in handy and this is where intonation comes in. But right now, we're at the very beginning. So we're just going to do it from scratch. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your chromatic tuner, okay? You're going to test all your open strings and make sure they are perfectly in tune. Wow. 
What do you know? Mine's in tune. All right, so this is how I do it. I'm going to grab four different tapes. So I cut the orange one, and you're going to want – I I make them about this big, right, about a okay. centimeter, okay? So when you cut it, you have about this much left, okay? So when you start off, you know – I'm going to remake this video with a fancier camera, but this is what you get. So this is what you start off. You cut a little strip about a okay. centimeter, and then you got this extra part. All right, so – you can do whatever with that extra tape. So this is about how long you want it, okay? It's got to wrap around the neck of the violin, right? So we don't want it too short because the ends of the tapes peel up, and then you're probably going to have to change your tapes quicker. So, and if it's too long, we got to wrap it around again. So kind of like fa find the balance in that, depending on how big the violin is and how big the neck is. All right, I make them about yay big. All right, so now that your violin is in tune and you got some tapes cut, I already cut mine. I suggest you do that. You cut four. I'm going to use orange for one, blue for two, red for three, and green for four. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape. You're going to put it under, under here, this part, okay? You're going to put it under all four strings, okay? I'm doing this with one hand, so yeah, okay, okay, okay. Get it under the fingerboard in between the fingerboard and the strings, okay? So we're just going to kind of lightly place these here, and I'll tell you exactly where to put them. Okay, so I'm going to slide these under. I'm going to put all four down at once, and then we're going to tune them. Now, when you're putting them down, I moved it up all the way like that, okay? So I started from under here, in between the string and the fingerboard, and I went all the way up about this much distance, okay? From the nut, okay? So there's another note here on the violin right there. We're not going to mess with that right now. This is called first finger. We also call it regular one, okay? Very important tape because it's really easy to mess it up when you play. So, But don't fold the tapes over yet. We're going to do that at the end when it's ready to go. Okay, so set your first finger tape down. Just kind of set it, you know, maybe like a like two inches from the nut, and then we'll, we'll fine-tune it. Stick the blue. The blue is also going to go about an inch from the orange, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Okay. Then we're going to use red for three. Three goes about a centimeter away from the blue tape, and I will explain why. Okay. We're going to put that under there like that, and then we're going to fix it. And then the green is going to go about an inch and a half away from the red tape. So it's going to look something like this. Ooh, amazing. Amazing, okay? So this is going to be your first finger, second, third, and fourth, okay? We call this a finger pattern, okay? Our finger pattern when we first start the violin looks like this, okay? I got a little note <laughs> on my hand, okay? It looks like that, okay? So it's not a scale, right? So people look at this and like, oh, that's the G major scale position. Not quite, okay? Um... It's, it is a kind of a major scale, but a major scale for, t for two strings, right? So if you play the violin, you know that G major two octaves has a low two, which is not going to be on the tapes. So we're only doing our what we call regular one. And then this two tape, okay? The two tape's interesting, right? I used blue. So the two tape is what we call a high two, okay? So there's a high two and a low two. So there's not a regular two, but we say regular one. Okay, so there's like a low one, a regular one, a high one, and then there's a low two and a high two. But there's not like a low two, a regular two, and a high two. Confusing, right? And then three, um, we really don't have a low three because that ends up being a high two. Crazy. And then we do have a low four and a regular four and a high four. Okay, but don't worry about that. Just focus on four tapes, parents. Four tapes. All right, so now we have them kind of placed under here like so, generally, okay, approximately. It's not perfect yet. That's what we're going to use the tuner for to make them perfect, okay? So you want to tune all of your strings when you do this, but you really only need to play one to make sure it's right, especially if you make them all straight, okay? So you're going to make those tapes parallel to the nut, okay? The nut is this part that is, you know, meets the peg box and the fingerboard, the nut is right there, okay? So you want to make sure they are parallel to the nut. All right, now we're going to tune the tapes. 
So I'm going to play the open E string with the bow. You want to do this with the bow. You don't want to pluck it because you want those tapes to be really in tune, okay? One, it makes it better for me as a teacher to hear uh, nicely in tune tapes, but also when you play with someone else, you we want to build that intonation strength, okay? So tapes, big deal. So I'm going to play E. It's perfectly in tune. Now I'm going to put a first finger down. Now if you're a parent and you've never played the violin before, just do your best, okay? If you're like holding it all crazy and you're trying to put a finger down, it's fine. It's fine, okay? <laughs> Effort is fine. Now most, most of the time your teachers put your tapes on, but now we're in a time where, you know, we kind of need to start learning these things on our own parents because it's going to involve you more in your students' Um, learning and education and it's very helpful and it's going to kind of give you a better idea of what they're doing and trying to learn which we've never really done before it's all like trust the teacher trust the teacher but now we all get to be more um, involved and I think that's a great thing so I'm going to teach you how to do it and you can do it it'll take longer to figure out how to tune the violin than it would be to do the tapes so all right now you're going to put your first finger down where you approximately did the tape. So I laid it there. Let's see how close I was. I was a very close, okay? So the first note on the E string is called F sharp. Not F, F sharp. But when you use your chromatic tuner, it's going to say G flat for this tuner, okay? So there's no sharps. It's going to use what we call an enharmonic. So it's going to say G flat, okay, instead of F sharp. It's the same thing, so don't get confused. So, but it's not close enough, right? So we're going to move the tape to make it precisely with the tuner, okay? So you have a red line on the tuner, okay? If the red line goes to the left, it means the note is flat, okay? That means we have to tighten the string to sharpen it to make it in tune. Okay, and the opposite is true. If the red line is to the right, we need to loosen the string to make it perfectly in tune. Okay, but loosen and tighten. How do we do that? Well, we do it with the pegs, but don't use the pegs. Okay, we've already, that's a whole different thing. Don't, don't touch the pegs unless you have to. We want to use these fine tuners, right? These little, little things right here. So we're going to use the one on the far right. That is the E string fine tuner. Okay, righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy, okay? These are called fine tuners because they finely tune the strings just a little bit. So if it's in the green area, that's when you want to use a fine tuner, okay? If it's more than the green, you probably want to use your pegs. It depends on how much fine tuner you got left to turn. So that depends a little bit there. So I'm going to play again. So I needed to sharpen the note. So I moved my finger first to the note that was right, okay? So I was just a smidge off, okay? But look, see, my finger is where the correct note is now that I use the chromatic tuner, and the orange is where I guessed it would be. See how, see how close that is? <laughs> okay, this is some violin problems, right? But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that orange tape to where my finger is. Okay, I'm just gonna move it just a smidge. Okay, you wanna make the the how big the tape is well how big your finger is okay we want the very very tip of your finger so it's about that much see how the finger kind of fits into the whole tape that's about how big you want it otherwise if you make the tape too big i think it kind of gives the impression that like there's a lot of room for error and there's not in violin right there's hardly any room for error so i play e again And when you, we move our, our finger just like a millimeter either towards the scroll or towards you, right? Towards you is sharp. That means the note is getting higher. Away from you means the note is flatter, okay? It, so, you know, you move your finger just a little bit to get that tape, but it is pretty good. So, and try to get the center of the tape to be perfectly in tune, okay? So now, once I'm done, I'm just going to press the edges, okay? There's your first finger tape done. Okay, You repeat the process with the other three tapes. So the next note, like I said, is high two. So what's a high two? 
So on the violin, it is a G sharp. But what is the enharmonic of a G sharp? What's G sharp's other name? That's right, folks. It's A flat. So uh, I was really, really close with that one. So uh, I have done this so many times. You can already <laughs> tell I just, I'm just moving. I'm like, how oh, I always do. See, I always make my um, G sharps a little on the sharp side with my ear. My ear always wants to hear um, the twos a little higher than they are. All right, that's dead center. Okay, so you're just constantly going back and forth with a chromatic tuner, okay? And then I put them down. So now you have a regular one and a high two, okay? Just how we want it. Three is close. Three is almost going to touch your two. It depends on how big your fingers are and you want to make your ear the boss. very very close with that I'm gonna move it like a millimeter down I was pretty close now it looks like there's a big distance in between the two and the three but there's really not because your fingers place right there okay it's not that big of a distance at all another little trick when you have a third finger in tune on the violin in first position it has an extra ringing sound okay um, it makes like an extra resonant ringing sound okay so when your third finger is in tune you want to listen for that ringing sound so you have a good in tune three last tape so now i'm just kind of testing all the tapes i just did right so i did e first finger on that tape we just tuned it two we just tuned it three and now the pinky so the third finger tape by the way the red one was called a and this green one is called B on the E string. Just do the E string notes because your other strings are already in tune. Okay, so if you do a straight line, it'll be the same. Kind of always sharp with my Bs as well. This is why we play music for years. That's it. B. Okay. And then you place it down. And that is it. Y'all, that's it. That was not that hard, was it? Now, you might have to watch this a few times, but you'll figure it out. Um, but your little violin student's going to appreciate it because now their violin looks like that. Look, that's great. Look, I just did it to my violin. Okay. So now you have your basic violin finger pattern tapes. Now you're ready to learn the violin from scratch in a very easy way, okay? I think this method is awesome. It's a way to go. So now, so this is the finger pattern for major scales, okay, but for one octave. So you got A, hits all the tapes, okay? And then you have D, hits all the tapes hits all the tapes and that's it three major scales g d a two strings one octave okay that's what these tapes are all about okay all right guys <laughs> i hope this video was helpful all right i'm making new videos all the time uh i'm still going through a lot of figuring it out but it's really fun and i really love to work with um, my students and i love to make videos that we're going to help my students later so i'm really excited about this uh, if you're interested in violin lessons please send me a message if you're interested in beginner piano lessons send me a message if you're interested in beginner viola lessons send me a message okay if you have any questions just let me know um but that is it for this time and i will